When the water starts rising, a few fearless volunteers, well, they roll up their sleeves and get to work. They are putting up a tough fight trying to keep our streets clear from flooding. K2's Megan Coxine is live in southeast Portland. And Megan, you're right there where there's a big trouble spot. Yeah, and a 92nd between Powell and Division was shut down a couple hours ago because of high water. And you can see here the sign behind me warning drivers the street is closed. Of course, they're still going through that. We'll talk about that in just a minute. But of course, police don't want anyone going through this street. The city working to keep the streets open as fast as they can, and so are neighbors. We do have some flooding here. Tom Barnes and Mark White are spending their Saturday cruising for flooding. They've got a truck bed full of tools. Rakes, pitchforks, we have flat flat blade shovels. And are walking into the trouble spots others only drive by. I look at it, if not me, who? You could say they are the unsung heroes of the Powellhurst Gilbert Neighborhood Association. The pair are part of the city's pilot program, Adopt a Drain. It's a program we started about two years ago uh, after the 2007 floods um, to try to get volunteers to come out and clear the grates of the, mo of the worst of the area. Considering themselves a last line of defense, they are clearing their neighborhood gutters and drains so they don't end up looking like this. We know the city is overwhelmed. They have 58,000 basins and drains to clean. They can't get to all of them. So we come out as a last-ditch effort to try to make sure that it's mitigated as much as possible. Mayor Sam Adams says city crews are working around the clock, but they are warning drivers if roads are closed due to high water, don't drive through. Well, every time you go through those high waters, that rippling effects impacts the homes or the businesses close by. To help keep his neighbors safe, Barnes says he doesn't mind pitching in. So we're out here, we clear them. We know that it's going to turn out better. People can drive through there. And now tonight when I go home and finally do go and have a cup of coffee and sit down in a warm house, uh, I feel a lot better about it. Now, obviously, you're looking at still a trouble spot here at 92nd between Powell and Division. The city says they're simply letting it drain. So at some point, hopefully, that will all clear out. Now, as for drivers, we have seen several drivers blowing right through the street closed barricade. The city is very serious that they are issuing $360 fines if you're caught driving through one of those closed streets. We're live in Southeast Portland. Megan Cockstein, K2 News.